you've really explained to us that cell phones um, are dangerous to our health and they can be very detrimental. What can we do as individuals to reduce that problem if possible and eliminate some of the things that we're doing that help to create the cascade? Mm -hmm. Um, I can't say, I mean, I don't have the technical expertise to give you the pronouncement that cell phones are dangerous to our health, but I can tell you that there's a lot of evidence that we should be concerned and we should minimize our risks. One of the things I want people to be aware of is that there's an intense plume of radiation around the antenna of your cell phone, whether or not you can see the antenna. And so this goes out maybe seven to nine inches. So when you hold this against your head, you can see how the radiation is going right through. Now also, when you hold, carry it on your body, here, it's close to your heart, or in your hip, close to the hip and the um, bones there, or the testicles or the um, ovaries, or a pregnant woman. So we need to realize that this intense plume falls off. So that's why the, one of the best recommendations is use a speaker. So from here, the radiation goes right into the ear canal to the brain. From here, it's much better. So keep it powered off whenever possible. Get something else for an alarm clock. and use a lower frilled cell phone to make your mobile calls and then get some if you have to have um, one of these really um, exciting with lots of apps play with it just you know entertain yourself to your heart's content but turn off the sending and receiving and this is also a factor when I talk to people about high-tech gifts if this gift sends and receives wirelessly you want to be concerned. Whether it's a mus portable music player or um, any device, um, a reader, a small um, multimedia pad, a laptop, we want to take them out of the sending and receiving because that's when this wireless radiation happens. That is absolutely great information. I hope that people listen to it a couple of times because you just have given us the only positive kind of answer that I think I've ever heard about even reducing the, d the danger. Yeah, there's lots of positive answers and the things to remember is if it's wireless, look for wired. If it's cordless, look for corded. And also remember that we have on the horizon, it's not all bad news, um, fiber optics. And uh, this is how you send the, you know, data through, you know, f uh, the light and cables and it doesn't go through the brain. It's secure, it's quick, it's safe, and uh, so I think that's the wave of the future. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you.